Hey there, my friend, Erin Chase here from The Erin Chase Show. Um, and I'm super excited to get to chat more meal planning with you. So you are watching or listening to The Erin Chase Show where we chat all things intentional living and working to find that ever elusive balance in our busy, overwhelming lives. And I am your host, Erin Chase. Uh, coming at you live actually from my mom's house. Long story short, I had to make a quick pit stop here. Um, so instead of hearing my puppies today, you're probably going to hear her puppies, one of which is right here. Um, so I'm really excited to chat today, um, especially in this month of Septuary. Can we call this month Septuary? Can we call it September plus January and just make that Septuary? Because I think Jan Ember doesn't make sense. So I think Septuary is better. Um, I feel like, you know, sep you know, we start school here in Texas in August. I know many people start school right after Labor Day. Um, so, but we really don't start like full activities and all the things going on until September. And so I feel like September feels like the new year. Um, and then like May feels like December. So there's like May, December and Septuary. I'm just gonna make up new names for these months because it's just straight up madness. Um, and I think that it's super important to have a plan. So if you're just joining me, uh, we're chatting about meal planning. Today we're gonna specifically talk about like Sunday prep, like prep ahead on Sunday for the whole week. That's what we're gonna get into today. If you want to know more about meal planning, I do have a free video workshop that you can um, access if you type the word plan, just P-L-A-N, into the comments. Um, I will send you information on where these puppies, where you can find um, that, sorry. Um, so uh, meal planning is super crucial. There's lots of different ways to do it. Last week we talked about meal planning by um, sort of like cadence. So there's no right or wrong way to do a meal plan. Um, I personally do weekly, you know, seven days at a time with the exception of maybe a quick grocery store run if we have a different event or something different kind of going on. But my cadence has always been weekly, but that doesn't work for everybody. For some people, it's better to do three or four weeks. We, we talked through all of that last week on the last episode. So you can check that out here on the videos tab if you're watching on Facebook. Of course, if you're catching the replay on a podcast, it'll be on the podcast player or on YouTube as well. Um, but today I wanna to talk specifically about Sunday prep. Things you can do on Sunday to get ready for the week. I told you, you might hear the pups. Um, these are my mom's pups. So Sunday meal prep, like what does it look like? What works? What doesn't work? Why it doesn't work? Um, I think the, the feedback that I see, and I'm gonna share my personal experience as well, um, is that it, it maybe doesn't work. We're gonna talk about why. <laughs> but I'm also gonna share a couple different things to consider doing on Sundays to get yourself set up for success. Um, again, there's no right or wrong way to do this. I hope that this is an idea, gives you ideas and inspiration for getting your act together when it comes to meals, okay? So Sunday meal prep is prepping meals for the week on Sunday. That's gonna be the definition for today's case. And in today's definition, I, I'm gonna use meals a little bit more broadly because we're gonna talk a little bit about breakfast and lunch and maybe even some snacks, okay? So there's a couple different types of Sunday meal prep. Um, I think the most common type that we think of is the individual meals. When I see, when I see Sunday meal prep, I think, okay, that is somebody taking different containers and adding in a protein, a starch, and a vegetable, or something like that. You know, you see the funny memes where it's like, I did my Sunday meal prep, and it's a piece of pizza in every single container, right? Like, that's what I mean by like individual meals. Um, so I think that works really well for people who are either single, uh, maybe dinks, which is dual in income, no kids. So it's a couple who are both working and busy, but they don't have any kids, that's a dink. D-I-N-K, acronym there. Um, so I think that that works really well for people who are leading a busy life but maybe aren't feeding little people on the regular. Um, and so can you do that for your family? Um, yes, you can. It's just a bigger undertaking to do every single week. And I think that's the reason that it has not worked for my family is because there are six of us and that would, like I would need a separate fridge just to, and to prepare the containers that we would need for four people, meals for the week, or sorry, six people, meals for the week, plus, you know, lunches and snacks and things like that. Um, 
So that's one idea. The second idea for Sunday meal prep is to do um, prep two or three meals that you're gonna make like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday to prep all of that at the same time so you have a couple of options kind of for the beginning of the week that you would be cooking them fresh so you're not freezing anything. Um, so that would be the second kind. That could probably work for our family. Um, it's again, just not something that I personally have invested my time into doing on Sundays. The third type would then be, of course, freezer meals. This is where, this is where I can get behind this. Um, doing, a, uh, making four to six freezer meals on the weekend that would then last you for that week and maybe even two weeks later. Um, and that's exactly why and how we built the My Freeze Easy program to help you with make ahead freezer meals specifically um, making two meals at a time. So you could make one now and freeze another one for later or you could do a batch of four to six. So either of those um, would make the most sense for um, someone like me and that's actually, it is what I do. Um, and I, I sort of consider that a Sunday meal prep even though I don't always do that on Sundays. Um, so that is another option. Um, so quick recap, individual meals, starch, uh, protein, vegetable, into individual containers is one way to do Sunday meal prep. A couple of fresh meals for that week, a couple of freezer meals for that week, those are two more options. Another option would be if you wanted to just do lunches, and this is something that I have done for myself personally, only for me, not for anybody else in the family, not for Steve, not for the kids, and that's to do lunches ahead of time as mason jar salads. Um, so you could basically build a salad in a mason jar. I do have a blog post about that on $5 Dinners. I'll drop the comment, I'll drop the link here um, when we finish up. But the idea there is you build your salad in a mason jar, so you put, there's like a formula or a layering formula that you can put all the ingredients into the mason jar, you know, dressing on the bottom, then, you know, protein and vegetables, and then you would put the lettuce on top, um, and you can add like a wet paper towel or wet paper napkin to help keep everything nice and fresh. Inside the mason jar, seal it up, you make five of those, then you've got five grab and go lunch options. Now that's something that I could get behind um, if I'm working um, specifically on a diet issue or I'm wanting to um, do things differently, then I would do um, something like that, kind of mason jar salad style. Um, and then other meals, like are we gonna do make ahead breakfast? Okay, I'm gonna make a bunch of breakfast tacos on Sunday, so we have some grab and go breakfast tacos for a busy week weekday morning before school. Um, if I'm doing them for like a weekend brunch, if we do breakfast tacos on like Saturday or Sunday, depending on our schedule, then I might make extra to then put into the freezer for later that week to be able to, you know, grab and reheat that way. I did talk about make ahead breakfast and lunches in August. You can go back and look for that episode here, either on the video player or the podcast player. And we dig into that a little bit more, but I just wanted to give you kind of a breakdown of there are a couple of different ways that you could do Sunday meal prep that's not um, all this like individual container. Cause that's what I think about when I think Sunday meal prep is like, I'm gonna do an individual container for me for Monday through Friday dinners or Monday through Friday lunches. I would do that you know, as a mason jar um, salad would be a really good option for that. So the idea here is to get ahead so you have grab and go, okay? Maybe we rename it to grab and go Sunday, right? Preparing yourself. And all of this is really essential for staying one step ahead. And I wanna share one reason that I think that is a struggle, why this is this type of meal planning is a struggle, not only for me, but just I've read it from other people as well. And that's because it's really hard to do this every single week, okay? So it's really hard, whether whatever, it's because you were busy that weekend, it's you were out of town that weekend, it's your kids had sports that weekend and you got sunburned and you couldn't get out of bed weekend, like whatever is the reason. I think there's always a reason that something like this is gonna kind of come up to kind of derail your efforts or you didn't get your groceries in time to get this done on Sunday, like whatever it is. And so that's, I think, one of the reasons that um, the Make Ahead Freezer Meals works really well for me and that's why I like to do eight or 10 at a time because I only have to do that one time during the month. I don't have to do it every single Sunday. I'll do eight or 10 at once. I have freezer meal options for when I need them um, later throughout the month. And so that's, um, I feel like the freezer meals and my freeze easy is a really good kind of meet in the middle for I'm getting myself prepped ahead, but I don't have to be committed to doing it every single Sunday. Um, I think that cadence works really well for me mixed in with our other regular kind of weekly meal planning. So there's just my little personal, um, anecdotes there and kind of 
ways that I work in the kitchen, plus other reading about other people's experiences and just it's really hard to be disciplined and consistent in doing something like this every single week. Of course you can get into a cadence, of course you can get into rhythm, of, you know, I'm just sharing. Maybe that's the reason it's a struggle is because you haven't gotten into the cadence or rhythm um, and you just gotta kind of push through that and just make it a part of your regular um, Sunday schedule. Okay, so PI. Every episode I share my acronym for intentional living, which is PI, plan, implement, evaluate. So when we need to plan, we're gonna plan what to make on Sundays. Okay, maybe we're gonna try the mason jar thing. Maybe we're gonna bake ahead or make breakfast tacos or whatever, some of the things that we mentioned. Georgie wants to say hi, you guys, she's right here. Uh, so plan what you're gonna make. And then of course that involves getting your groceries and getting everything ready to go so that on Sunday you can get everything um, all set up. Of course, implementing is then making it, making the meal, whatever it is that you choose to do, whether it's the individual meals or the couple freezer meals or mason jar salads, whatever it is, make those things. And then evaluate, plan, implement, evaluate. Plan what you're gonna make, actually make it, and then see how it goes. Is this the right, should we maybe not do this on Sunday? Maybe we should do this on Wednesday, or maybe we should do this the day after we go grocery shopping. Um, maybe we should have tried the freezer meals instead of the mason jars, like whatever it is. Always be looking at making it better for yourself. Again, all of these are meant to be ideas and inspiration. There's no like hard and fast way to do this because I, I understand and appreciate all the many factors that are um, happening in your world and in your life. But I want to encourage and inspire you to kind of pick one roll with it, see how it does, and then adjust um, as needed. Okay, so that's pie. Plan, implement, evaluate the make-ahead meals, the Sunday meal prep or slash Wednesday meal, whatever day that we can do it on. I don't really care. does not matter to me. So I want you to think this. I want you to think grab and go. I want you to be able to put yourself into Wednesday morning and be like, Oh, that was so, it's gonna be so great when I can just grab that mason jar out of the fridge and roll out to work or the office or the hospital or wherever you're going, right? I have this grab and go option. That's what you're doing with setting yourself up with a Sunday meal prep or whatever the day of the week that you're doing on. It's setting yourself up and putting yourself in the moment. I'm doing this right now so that on Wednesday morning, I can literally grab and go. So I want you to think grab and grow. I want you to then feel super proud of yourself for following through and getting these meals prepped ahead because we need to be proud of that. And then taking action, think, feel, take action. I want you to think, make a grab and go. I want you to feel proud of yourself to be doing this. And then I want you to take action and actually get whichever of those meals um, that I suggested earlier prepped and ready to go uh, for yourself getting yourself prepped for the week. One step ahead, my friends, it's so crucial that we do this, especially once we start feeding little ones. Oh my goodness, we have to be a step ahead of the game. All right, so here is what I want you to do. We are live on Tuesdays, sometimes 2 p.m. Central Time. That's my goal, I'm running a little bit late today. At two o'clock in the afternoon on uh, Central Time on Tuesdays, we have the Aaron Chase Show. I would love for you to subscribe. You can subscribe to notifications here on Facebook Live. If you are watching on YouTube, you can su subscribe to our YouTube channel. We put the videos there um, on Fridays uh, of the same week. So this video will be up on YouTube on Friday. We also uh, do an audio version of the show. So you can listen to that also on Friday on your favorite podcast player. We syndicate it to all the major ones. So you can subscribe on any of those to get notified when the new episodes are available to listen to. So subscribing is the best way to keep up with all the things that we have going on. Of course, this month we're talking about meal planning. Last month it was all about kind of setting, your, a little bit more setting yourself up for success, kind of make ahead things. Um, specifically, meal planning is what we are talking about this month, you can check out the past episodes that we've done on all of these topics to get all kinds of ideas and inspiration. I try to keep it really simple, actionable, um, but also just get your wheels spinning. Um, as, I'm, as I'm sharing and talking, you're thinking, oh, I should try this. I should, oh, no, th never thought about that. Um, how can I implement this? Like, I, that's what I want you to be thinking about. That's why I do the Aaron Chase Show to help you see um, how you can make dinner easier. Uh, speaking of making dinner easier, we have a Dinner Made Easy show on Thursday, I've been doing that show for a couple of years now. Uh, we do those on Thursday. This week, it's another slow cooker recipe, so I will be coming at you live on Thursday morning here on the $5 Dinners Facebook page. We are making carne asada tacos. 
They're so good in the slow cooker. It's like melt in your mouth, delicious tacos. We're gonna go over all of that on Thursday. So please subscribe here um, and subscribe wherever you're listening, uh, wherever that may be. And that's all I got for this episode, my friend. Um, it's bye for now, and I will see you again soon.